Sirna harapku pada manusia Dingin bergulir Mendekap getir Kembali lahir Kembali lahir Dingin bergulir Mendekap getir Belum berakhir Belum berakhir Adanya wacana revisi undang-undang ekstradisi oleh pemerintah Cina menyebabkan demonstrasi besar-besaran di Hong Kong yang memungkinkan intervensi kepada sistem demokrasi di Hong Kong oleh Cina. Demonstrasi pun dilakukan berkala dalam jangka waktu panjang. Pada akhirnya, RU ini memang dicabut, tetapi ancaman terhadap demokrasi di Hong Kong tidak berhenti sampai di situ. Pemerintah Cina akhirnya secara resmi memperlakukan Undang-Undang Keamanan Nasional pada 30 Juni yang disusun secara tertutup tanpa adanya keterlibatan pihak legislatif Hong Kong. Masyarakat sipil perlu untuk terus memastikan akuntabilitas, transparansi, dan juga terus mendukung gerakan pro-demokrasi dengan membangun kolaborasi dan jaringan di antara kita semua. Because I still remember, you know, like 10 years ago, uh, yeah, I'm a bit older for that one. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we we had a meeting about how human rights abuses in Asia, and we named so many places, you know, like like uh, Indonesia in Southeast Asia or in South uh, in Asia. So we Hong Kong is a, a melting place for many lawyers or many uh, activists, advocates of human rights on how to how to develop, uh, you know, uh, consolidation. Uh, and and we take it for granted that Hong Kong is the place to be like that. Tapi ketika kita diam saja, maka harapan itu pasti tidak ada. Jadi mari kita bersolidaritas, lakukan sekecil apapun yang kita bisa, dan terus-menerus mem me 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 memberikan solidaritas, mendukung demokrasi di Hong Kong di seluruh dunia. Terima kasih. People in Hong Kong of their rights, of their freedoms, Freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, freedom of you know association, or even freedom to go to the street to, to stage demonstration uh, in the name of ensuring you know national security or controlling the pandemic. I think across the world we have seen more and more countries using the pandemic as a pretext to reduce the quality of democracy, the quality of freedom, including freedom of expression. Bahwa hari ini bisa di Hong Kong, tapi besok bisa kita. Dan itu menjadi penekanan betul mengapa solidaritas untuk Hong Kong, solidaritas untuk Myanmar itu harus menjadi pengetahuan dan juga kesadaran di masyarakat kita. I, I'm touched uh, to see that events uh, it's primarily on Hong Kong and sending a solidarity message. It is very important for Hong Kongers and for for the fact that from the democracy movement in hong kong we learned that a consistent peace movement can bring the commitment of civil society to fight to democracy to the forefront it was also responsible to raise awareness and build a solidarity movement in the region hong kong yang otoriter itu juga akan memberi kabar buruk bagi uh, pekerja migran uh, indonesia dan tentu juga pekerja migran yang uh, lain. My gratitude towards towards your support, I think is crucial. Hong Kong people really value those supports, and they see it as their momentum, boosting their morale, and uh, one of the reasons to keep them from um, retreating, to keep them going. So it's important to to have those signals. And on behalf of Hong Kong people, thank you so much. And I'm really looking forward um, to have any other collaboration and to support democracy in Hong Kong, but also in the region, uh, so that uh, we can have a more democratic world, which will benefit you and me. Thank you so much. The destruction of democracy in Hong Kong by despotic powers should be the concern of all of us. Every day, the news reports on how human rights have been trampled by the conduct of persecutions, terror, and the criminalization of pro-democracy fighters in Hong Kong. Humanity knows no boundaries or walls. The struggle for humanity and equality is a common mission that must be fought together. Solidarity works. Solidarity crosses boundaries including countries, including geographical boundaries. From Hong Kong protests, we learned that 
to fight back authoritarianism using a new tactic. Therefore, I and I hope we should stand together with the Hong Kongers in the fight against authoritarianism. Saya juga mewakili teman-teman dari Milk Tea Alliance menyampaikan solidaritas kami tentu melihat dan menginspirasi dari teman-teman di Hong Kong sekaligus juga kami memberikan dukungan sebagai manusia yang tidak mengenal batas ras, lintas negara, atau apapun. Karena kami melihat masyarakat Hong Kong juga patut untuk mendapatkan hak-hak untuk berdemokrasinya. Jika mati kan berujung pada siksa kan ku ketuk pintunya jika api yang menunggu ku di sana kan ku Big Bang